I mean, we know that there are a lot of Earth, potentially Earth-like planets. I mean, I think the current estimate is of order 20 billion in the Milky Way. Mm. So maybe one in 20 stars or one in 10 stars, something like that. Um, but that's potentially Earth-like. Uh, so rocky, the right distance from the star, possibly to have oceans on the surface if the atmosphere is right and so on. Um, and, and you might expect, and we don't know, but knowing what I know about biology and the history of life on Earth, you might expect some of them to have microbes on them. Um, you know, it, it doesn't seem so far-fetched, given that we know that life arose pretty quickly on the Earth when the conditions were right. Um, it, it, there doesn't seem to be anything magical about the transition from geochemistry to biochemistry, which is what life is on a planet. But the history of life on Earth also tells you that from the origin of life, it took some the best part of, or even a bit more than, three billion years to go from the origin of life and some single-celled things to complex multicellular life. Mm -hmm. And three billion years is a long time, even in astro astronomical terms. <laughs> it's a quarter of the age of the universe. Yeah. Uh, and so that suggests, without knowing anything else, if you just have to guess, that suggests that the transition from single cell living things to complex anything, something as complex as a blade of grass, never mind a human being, something that can build a civilization, is not as likely, right? Because it took, I mean, you think, so from the origin of life on Earth to, to, to the first industrial civilization on the planet is four billion years, right? 3.8 billion years. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, if you ask the question how many of those potentially Earth-like planets are stable over that kind of time scale, then the answer might be very few.